So I think the reason we moved towards solar was, I think everyone does the same thing. You assume load shedding is going to end quite soon. You get a small UPS or a little something from Take A Lot and uh, you think you're good to go. And after a while I found myself about five UPSs later, one for this computer, one for the router, one for the alarm, beeping all the time, batteries dying. That maybe we should just take the plunge and actually put a system in that, that can run the whole house. Um, we then had the next hurdle of who do we trust? You know, everyone out there can do an inverter system for you. No one really, well, a lot of people don't really understand what, what is required and what it will actually cost you. So after some Googling, I found a sustainable living. Um, it turned out that I actually knew the owner quite well through a son, my son's friend, which was great connection. They've done a lot of work before. They, they do a lot of work in the space. So it was a trustworthy connection to, to have out here. And uh, yeah, good assessment done, um, the right system quoted for, and it's been smooth sailing since then. So we went for a Kodak inverter system. It's a, a 5 KVA system, which for us was more than enough for the home. Um, some guys go a bit bigger, but we didn't want to put the stove and the geezer on. We didn't think it was worth it um, because we had a gas top. We then went for uh, lithium ion batteries, uh, a bank of four of them, a 2000 uh, pylon tech, which has a life expectancy of about 15 years. Uh, the best part about this is that this gives us about 36 hours grid neutral, which means that the house can run for 36 hours just off the batteries. Because of the solar, there's always sun shining between that time and ESCOM's normally on, so we definitely get to charge them up before that actually gets there. Uh, what I like what we've done here is that there's two separate, um, for want of a better word, little DB boards. Um, without too much technical understanding, I was shown how to isolate. So if something went wrong, we could actually isolate this entire system so ESCOM powers the house directly. Should something go wrong, we'd never be stuck without any power at all. Um, and I was also able to learn how to set the, the different um, modes on the inverter quite easily. So I could set this to use the solar, the battery, and then ESCOM. And if we really wanted to be safe, we could set it to use solar, ESCOM, and battery as a last resort only during load shedding, which wouldn't give you the savings per month on your electricity bill, but it would give you possibly more redundancy if you had a smaller battery bank, which we don't likely have to worry about. We started off with two panels and realized midway through the installation that they were really affordable. So we doubled up or tripled up to six panels and that gives us the ability to charge the batteries faster than the house actually uses that, that amount of power. So we're grid neutral with any sort of sun, even a bit of cloud cover, we still get um, a positive charge and the batteries getting fully charged through the day, pretty much every day. So we're really, really happy with that. So they generate uh, 1800 watts for all six panels together, which is more than enough for what we need to keep our home going and the batteries fully charged. So when we came to the kitchen, uh, we had to make some decisions. It was either put the entire kitchen on, which was going to be too much load on the inverter. What we decided to do was to put an additional plug point, very simply run an extra cable down there. And this fridge is on its own plug point, which is now part of the inverter system. So during load shedding, <clears throat> we have full gas, we have access, our fridge runs, nothing turns off our alarms, our Wi-Fi lights are all on, but we wouldn't be running our actual element in the oven. We wouldn't be running our air fryer or coffee machine because of the, the draw on the batteries would just potentially drain them too quickly and not actually achieve what we wanted. And to be honest, for two hours after having an air fryer or coffee machine at the end of the world. What we decided to do was we wanted to leave a few plugs that didn't go into the inverter system simply because we wanted to run heaters or hair dryers or curling irons that we didn't want to drain the batteries. So if you have a look here, when we first put the system in, all the plugs that went through the inverter have a little orange uh, sticker tape on top of that. We also have a domestic who does a, uses our vacuum cleaner and we've just told them not to use those plugs but to rather use a plug over there which is normal SCOM straight onto the grid and that gives us the ability not to drain batteries and not have to worry about things going down too quickly. The other benefit that we got without even realizing it that's because the, the system is constant clean power at 230 out all the time when we actually looked at our inverter the power coming in from SCOM alternates so it goes to 225 and 236 which sounds small but it actually has miniature surges which affect electronics. So since we've had the system in, I think it's been close on four years now, we've changed two or three light bulbs in the house at that time simply because it's clean, pure power. We never have these all surges. We don't actually even know when there's load shedding because the house is permanently running through the batteries even when we're not being shed. So that's been a huge benefit to us. Another advantage we've seen is obviously running everything through a battery system is an electricity saving. 
Um, it wasn't actually the reason we went for the system. We wanted to make sure that me working from home and my wife working from home, we were always available online. But since we've had the battery system and only needing to top up our electricity for the higher voltage appliances, we've dropped our bill from about 1819 a month to on average 8 or 900 rand a month um, on an average month, which has been great, about a thousand rand a month. For sure, it's been one of the best things we've ever done with this home. Uh, we've been here for just over four years. I can promise you that if that whole system disappeared or blew up or got stolen, I'd spend 100 grand again tomorrow just to remove the load shedding stress from life. It's a game changer. I work from home. I don't have to ever worry about it. And it's the best money ever spent. Ooh.